president's statement that he wants to eliminate all due process for immigrants at the border is not only bad policy and will result in enormous number of mistakes, especially for asylum seekers, but it's flatly unconstitutional. The framers of the Constitution said that due process applies to all persons, not all citizens, and they did that deliberately so that all persons, including non-citizens, would have the right to due process. That's in contrast to other provisions in the Constitution that specifically use the word citizens to say that it's off limits to non-citizens. Due process applies to everyone. The Supreme Court has held that more than a century ago. The President's proposal, if ever enacted, would be flatly unconstitutional and would be struck down by the courts. We also want to deal with the family separation issue. There are thousands of little kids separated from their parents going to sleep every night wondering whether they're ever going to see their parents again. The ACLU has brought a national class action in San Diego. We are hoping for a ruling soon. We have asked that the court order the government to reunite every child within 30 days and for children under five years old, reunite them within 10 days. We have also asked that the court order the government to put every parent in contact with their child. Right now, parents have no idea where their child is. It's a heartbreaking situation. The Trump administration policy of systematically separating thousands of children is unprecedented. It was a choice this administration made. No prior administration has systematically separated young children. We objected to the Obama administration deporting so many people, but the Obama administration never came close to doing what the Trump administration is doing and tearing little kids away from their families. The president issued an executive order last week that purports to end family separations, but it has explicit loopholes, so we don't believe it will end family separations going forward. As importantly, perhaps more importantly, it says nothing about reunifying the thousands of kids who have already been separated. That's why we've asked the federal court in San Diego to ensure that reunification occurs within 30 days for all children and within 10 days for children under five years old.